What's up friends? Welcome back to Kimmy D TV, a place where nurses and aspiring nurses come to achieve academic and career success. In this video, I'm going to be speaking about the different IV gauge needles that you need to know whether you are a new nurse working in a new facility or whether you're a nursing student or whatever the case may be. It is imperative that you know the different gauge of IV and what they mean, all right? So without further ado, please like the video and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Someone who's afraid of needles, which needle do you think, which gauge of needle would you think they would choose? A 14, 18, 20, 22, or 24 gauge? Which one would you think? Well someone would probably think oh i'll just get the 14 gauge because that sounds small and it's easier and it won't hurt and it's like i don't want the 24 gauge that's large but what you guys may not know is actually the smaller the number gauge on the needle the larger the bore okay so it is easier for someone who is afraid of needles to get the 24 gauge instead of the 14 gauge because in fact the smaller gauge number that you go for when choosing your IV the larger the bore of the needle is okay so I hope that little analogy that little story time kind of will help you remember that because at first honestly like it was kind of like hard for me to remember like oh what which one is 14 which uh, the smaller the larger yes so the smaller the gauges the larger the bore the needle is okay the larger the gauges the, sm the smaller the bore the needle is okay so just think of it like this if someone who's afraid of needles they would most likely choose the 14 gauge because they hear a smaller number so they would probably think it's it's less painful but in fact they're fooled because the larger gauge needle would actually have a smaller bore so just keep that in mind all right so we're gonna start with the smaller number so the first IV gauge and you guys may want to take out a uh, paper and pencil to take notes on what it is okay so the first IV gauge is a 14 gauge needle 14 gauge needle is usually used in an emergency okay because remember the your 14 gauge is going to have a large bore so basically whatever you administer into the patient is just going to administer it's gonna go through the patient like a lot more quicker it's like a lot more volume can be put in so the 14 gauge is going to be a large bore and you could easily administer fluids and drugs in an emer emergency setting okay so it's also very good for example for people with hypovolemic shock all right so you may be asking yourself like what the hell is hypovolemic shock so hypovolemic shock is basically all right so hypovolemic shock is basically when a person's body has a low amount of fluid so how can that happen well if the patient is severely severely dehydrated like if someone hasn't i don't know drinking water in like 30 days or if the patient um, was in an accident and they lost a tremendous amount of blood because when you think about it I think the fact is about 80% of our body is made up of water there's a huge percentage of our body that is made of water what makes us function as human beings is water is our blood cells is basically the fluids that run through our body that is what keeps us alive because we need blood to pump our heart and to pump our tissues to fill it with oxygen so that process can take place we need fluid so without fluid someone can die so that is why we use a 14 gauge needle in emergency situations because you know that large bore is going to be large enough to quickly administer that fluid as soon as possible so that the chances so the chances of patient survival is higher okay so my next IV gauge needle is 18 gauge needle okay so 18 gauge needle I like for you guys to remember when you think 18 gauge needle you think blood all right so automatically when I say 18 gauge needle I want you to think blood all right? 
all right so usually they use an 18 gauge needle to administer blood all right but 18 gauge needle can be used for stable your stable patients or your stable clients who needs large amounts of fluid to be administered into the patient okay so large amounts of fluids or blood it, you would use your 18 gauge but your main takeaway with 18 gauge especially um, in exams or when you're in the hospital you want to remember my 18 gauge I'm going to use I'm going to use it for blood. You want to think if you see, if you see the word blood on a piece of paper, you're going to think 18 gauge. 18 gauge. Blood. Blood. 18 gauge. Remember, 18 gauge. All right. Gauge of needle is 20 to 22 gauge needle. So you can administer blood with a 20 gauge needle, but of course the 18 gauge is preferred. But for 20 to 22 gauge of needle, that is usually used to administer just regular medications, just regular fluids to your client, okay? So, so regular, so general IV fluids. So what are your general IV fluids? That's like your, you know, normal saline, you know, 0.45 normal saline, um, stuff of that nature, or even just a medication, um, uh, just your general medications that someone would get via IV, you would give it with a 20 to 22 gauge needle. The last gauge of needle that I would like to share with you all is a 24 gauge needle. Your children, your older adults with smaller veins, okay? I remember when I was working in the clinic, I would always use a like a 24 gauge needle to, to get the blood of my patients who have like very light veins, veins that are extremely hard to see. So you're going to want to think you're 24 because remember the higher the gauge, the smaller the bore. So you know, little children, patients with fragile veins, older adults, you're going to want to use your 24 gauge needle, okay? So guys, I hope you all understand what the gauges of needle is, okay? So I'm going to check real quick. What do you use a 14 gauge needle? That's correct. A 14 gauge needle is used during emergencies because remember, the smaller the gauge of the needle, the larger the bore. So you're going to use it in emergency situations such as hypovolemic shock, which is when the patient has lost extreme amount of fluids, all right? Because we need fluids to survive, okay? What about our 18 gauge? What are we going to use that for? Exactly, that should be automatic. 18 gauge, blood. Blood, 18 gauge, okay? We can also administer fluid, but I really want you to remember, guys, that 18 gauge, you're going to administer blood. What about 20 to 22 gauge of needle? What are you going to use that for? Yes, 22 to 22 gauge of needle can be used for your regular medications and fluids for your stable clients and remember 20 gauge can you can use a 20 gauge catheter to administer blood but 18 gauge is preferred and my 20 gauge my and my 24 gauge what would you use it for that's correct you would use it for children or older adults with really fragile veins that are really hard to see but my veins you could easily see it because it pops out all right guys so if you guys like these kind of videos for me if they're really helpful don't forget to give this video a like hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video thank you guys all for practicing your iv gauge needle with me if it was helpful let me know and i will make more of these kind of videos all right bye